Field Genius has support for electronic bubbles with certain instruments. This feature allows you to check for your current level position with your sensor. It allows you to see roughly which compass direction you're facing. It allows you to prevent yourself from storing positions when the sensor is significantly off level or you can use it to compensate for tilt and correct a roughly posi correct position using the compass and tilt sensor that's built into the GPS unit. In this video, first I'll show you how to calibrate, which is a step we recommend you take whenever you arrive on a job site. And then I'm going to show you the different ways that you can access this feature. So we're going to the instrument toolbar and we're going to sensor configure while I'm connected to this unit and we'll go to electronic bubble. First we'll show you how to calibrate the tilt sensor. This simply requires you to have the instrument level and start the calibration. And we'll continue. Now that's been calibrated. Next we're going to calibrate the magnetic sensor or the internal compass that's built into the GPS unit. First we're going to pick on start calibration and now what we're going to do is we're rotating the instrument in three different axes and after this operation I'm going to show you a video showing how you do the rotation. It's easiest to have the unit disconnected from the pole while you do this. The progress bar will indicate that you are moving the instrument properly. It won't advance if you're not moving it. And we'll continue. Okay, and watch this video to see how I was manipulating the instrument. So, now that we're calibrated, I'm going to close this and I'll close this. So the green dot indicates that we are roughly level and you'll also see that there's a black triangle and it's indicating that the instrument, when I have the instrument panel facing my face, as you can see in this picture here, it indicates right now that the instrument is facing in a roughly westerly direction. Next what we'll do is we'll show how you can use this function to filter out positions where your instrument is significantly off level. So I'm going back to sensor configure to electronic bubble and we'll have a look at the settings. So right now I have tilt compensated checked on. I'm going to turn that option off and I'm going to set tilt rejection as my mode and I'll set as a value 5 degrees. So if the instrument is significantly off level or if it's more than five degrees off level then it will not allow you to store a point. We'll close this and we'll close this and we'll close this and here I'm going to take a measurement you can see from the electronic bubble that we're significantly off level and we can see right on the statistics dialog that TELT is rejected. Now we're within the five degrees setting that I have allowed for and we have an RTK fixed position and I can store that position if I want. Okay, now let's use the other option for using the electronic bubble. Back to sensor configure, back to electronic bubble and to settings and here I'll turn off tilt rejection, turn on tilt compensated. I'll close this. Now what this will allow me to do is measure a point even if the instrument is significantly off level and the information from the electronic compass and the TELT sensor will be used to calculate what the true position at the bottom of the rod is. So now I'm going to take two measurements on the same position. I'll have the bottom of the rod at the same position but I'm going to be significantly tilted in two different directions and then in the end we'll go in and we'll compare 
the calculated point. So as you can see in this picture, I'm connected to the instrument and I have the instrument significantly tilted to the south. And now I'm going to take my measurement and we'll store that position. Now I'm in the same position at the bottom of the rod but I'm going to tilt the instrument significantly to the west as you can see in this picture. And now I'll measure that point. And I'll store that position. And so now I can pick point 8 that I just, the first point that I stored off the screen and pick on the ruler to inverse and I'll zoom in here and I'll pick point 9 as my second point and so we can see that we're two centimeters apart. Now that's not a feature that you'd want to use for high precision or control but it's an excellent feature when you're trying to do quick topography and you're in a position where you can't hold the antenna vertical. So thanks for your interest in learning about electronic bubble support.